Hey guys, it's Yo OMG. Here we go. Today we're talking about stack tracks so you can figure out what the hell is going on. Logic Pro 10, whoa, don't be too overwhelmed. Okay, uh, stack tracks is kind of a combination between groups and aux buses. Uh, let me explain. Um, what you want to do is you can choose a group of instruments to edit. So you may want to choose a like instruments, I guess is kind of the idea. So I've got some drums here. Uh, I can zoom out here and I'm going to turn off my flex mode. And I can see I've got all the drums, kick, snare, blah, blah, blah. What I want to do is I, I want to create a stack for this. Um, you can you can use a key command for that. Um, I recommend setting it up because it's probably going to be something you're going to use a lot. So you might want to grab to a key command that you haven't used before. And what you want to do is you can select any number of tracks. You can select the first. And you want to shift click all of them. Uh, they don't have to be in order. So if you use the command button, uh, you can select any number of tracks in the arrange. It does not matter. They don't have to be adjacent. Once you select them, you're going to want to right click. Now, if you right click over here, it's going to give you the icon. Whoa, that's not what we want, which is pretty cool. Lots of different icon options and, you know, Shazam, you can make folders and you can actually uh, customize that stuff, which we'll get into. We're going to have these all selected, and I'm going to right-click over on this side, and it gives us a lots of options, just like we had before. New track, new software track, blah, blah, blah. But now down here, we have Create Track Stack. As soon as you pull that up, it's going to give us two different options, either a folder stack or a summing stack. And it basically tells you what it is. A summing stack is going to be something that's going to put everything in a group, and it's going to assign everything to the same bus, and then the master is going to be that bus. And I believe it defaults to having some uh, EQ and compressor, depending on your uh, channel strip or patch settings. A folder stack just groups them um, in terms of editing, and you can mute solo and, and control them from the main track, but it doesn't reroute anything. In this case, we're dealing with drums, so we're going to bus everything together. So we're going to create a summing stack. And what it's going to do, it's going to give us a little bit of graphical uh, change here. It's going to move these guys over, and you're going to see... Uh, a master uh, section. If I zoom this up, it's going to zoom this in, it's going to show us an aux channel. Over here, the aux channel is, again, it defaulted to having some uh, compressor and EQ. You can bypass those by pushing these buttons here on the left. You can access the plugin by pushing the button in the middle, and you can change the plugin by doing the arrows on the right side. What this does is automatically gives you a bus, whatever the next available bus was, and all of the instruments are then routed to that bus. And you've got other options that you can choose, um, but you can select it from here. Another thing, if you maybe decide later that you don't want a particular track in that uh, stack, all you have to do is go into that track click over here and just drag up and you drag it out of there and it's immediately out of the stack. Just as the same thing you might guess, you can drag it right back in. Same thing with order. You can drag the thing to any order you want. And it's lightning quick, pretty easy. Um, <clears throat> again, if you mute the in or if you solo or mute the individual, it does so, but you can also solo the group, which is pretty convenient and pretty quick for editing. You can close this down and then it's just going to show you <clears throat> a sum of the whole instrument, which is pretty similar to a folder. If you used to use folders, it just kind of adds a few features to the folder function. If we take a few other tracks and we want to create another stack here, um, this time we'll do a folder stack. You can see it looks basically the same, except for each individual track is still routed to the same output. You have the same mute and, and solo functions, and you can name them just by double-clicking. You can name them uh, group, whatever you want to name them. Uh, you can also, uh, well, actually, the reason why that didn't name is because of uh, our view, which we'll get into later. Um, you can also color code the group and color code those within the group. Um, you get the group editor 
right here in the inspector on the left. It's now added into the inspector, which you can choose to hide it or show it. Uh, if you use your group editor key command, it's going to still pull up the same old group editor as we had before. Um, now the group editor is over here, which gives us um, another option and therefore another key command if you want to reassign or reassign that or add that. In any case, uh, the group can be pretty cool, but not overwhelming, and it's pretty simple. So it's going to be something you can add in your workflow quite quickly and uh, see if it improves how you're working. Hope this helped. Check it out.